that they're a million miles away from from Spurs. I mean, you're talking about two clubs who are two of the best teams in the world, the best managers, best squads. We're, we're nowhere near that. I mean, if we finish third, that's an unbelievable season for Tottenham. And I think that's what we should be trying to get. Uh, you know, consolidate top four, try and win a trophy. But we're miles away from from challenging for a title. I do think, I do believe that if, if we can keep Conte happy, and I'm sure Andros is going to agree on this, if you keep him happy and, you, and we keep doing really good business and get the recruitment right in every position that we buy players in, I do believe in three or four seasons that we could challenge for a title, but we are three or four seasons away. Andros? I think, yeah, Spurs fans are getting excited because we've never seen Spurs do business in June. Daniel Levy, the master negotiator, normally leaves it to deadline day. So I think Conte has got his way. He wants players in. He wants players in now. If you don't get players in, I'm leaving. So he's got top class players in. And I slightly agree with Dean Saunders. I think in a normal season, Tottenham have bridged the gap. They've got closer to, to the Liverpools and Man Cities. But then you just got to look at Man City and what they've done already, bringing in Erling Haaland. It's just, I, I don't see how any team can, can can keep up with that and can bridge the gap when they've signed one of the one of the best young, young strikers in the world. So, yeah, I, I think Tottenham have got closer, but City have just got further away again. Yeah. Um, you just said there are three or four seasons before Spurs could be potentially challenging for yeah. something. Andros, what do you think? I don't think they've got that time. Um is, is Jamie, do you think Conte is going to wait three or four seasons before he's challenging, challenging for a title? Or does he want it now? Does he want it next I think season? He, look, Harry I think, Kane, does he want it now? Does he want it next season? Yeah, I think I think what, what you, I, I agree with you. You know that, but that's what we've got to do. We've got to try and make sure mm. that they're happy by challenging for something else, like you know an FA Cup or a Carabao Cup, or having you know a long uh, stint in the Champions League. You know, a t- to win a title, you know, over 38 games, when you've got to play Man City and Liverpool, who will get you probably nine, to, they're guaranteed to get over 95 points every season. I just don't think we're anywhere near that. And it's so hard to keep up with that sort of level. But I think if you look at Jurgen Klopp when he came in, if you look when he first came in, what was it, three or four seasons before they really started challenging and winning things? They were patient with it and they made sure that they kept him. Antonio Conte's got to stay somewhere for a long period of time eventually. He can't just keep changing and, and you know, do a couple of seasons, win Why? a title and move on. No, it works. Well, good. because you've got to be settled, I think, as well as a manager and try and build something. And how, I think the, the greatest achievement Antonio Conte could do is build a team at Tottenham and win a title with Tottenham Imagine if he'd done that. I mean, that is that. I mean, that's an unbelievable for, uh, feat. He's won the Premier League. He's won the Italian League. So why don't he stay somewhere for a little bit of time, build a squad of players, and and do something that no one else has done in three or four oh, seasons? Okay. Harry Harry Kane's going to be what thirty one or something like that. Just, yeah. and, and I'm sure he's going to be amazing even at thirty one. But does the cycle start to come to an end in three or four seasons with those players? <sighs> Yeah, and I think these players, they already had that cycle. Jamie mentioned Jurgen Klopp and Spurs have already been through that with Pochettino. Um, they had that four or five year cycle where they came from nothing and they were at the pinnacle. They were in the Champions League final. Um, I was at that game and I, I think unfortunately, obviously mistakes were made. The manager wasn't back then. I think if they had made these signings back then, they would be challenging for the title. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, and now they're trying to get back to where they were. Uh, two or three years ago with, with Pochettino um, and, and like like you said ha- Harry Kane the top players are not going to wait three or four years so it may have to be like Jamie said a Carabao Cup um, the, cha- uh, the Champions League which is obviously going to be tough the FA Cup and keep these players happy by winning trophies that way mm. um, You were at a wedding recently weren't you with, and was Harry Kane there too? Uh, yes, I was. Yeah, it was my uh, it was Ryan Mason, my good friend Ryan Mason. His oh, wedding. Oh, congratulations, yeah. Ryan! Uh, did you get any insight from Harry at the time? I didn't, unfortunately. Um, when you're at a wedding, you don't, and you've got your partners there. You can't speak about football, unfortunately. <laughs> you didn't do a Jim White and have oh, like a little recording away. thing. And say, can I just grab you for a second? Because you've got no, a, a I, budding uh, future in the broadcast. I would have if I'd known I was on here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are his you dance moves like? This is the boys want to know. <laughs> They're good. They're better than mine. They're a lot better than mine. Put are it that they way. really? Yeah, they're a lot better than mine. No I'm the way. stiffest man in football. Yeah. No, are you? Well, to yeah. be fair, you've got an injury at the moment, so you're allowed no, to be. I'm stiff. I'm stiff. <laughs> honestly, the the, the 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 honestly the dance moves that I have is is unacceptable. It's the ultimate the, the bad prob- dancing. 
the, yeah, the problem is I don't drink. So like, you know, when you, you have a drink and like you kind of forget yourself and you're on the dance floor, I don't drink. So I'm always aware. So yeah. even like, like a little two step, I'm just stiff. It's like the, the inhibitions go after a couple of drinks, don't they? And you kind of yeah. loosen up a little bit. Jamie actually did a little bit of dancing earlier on and right. I likened it to Theresa May. Do you remember when she walked on stage? <laughs> to, it was Dancing Queen yeah. she was walking on stage, she wasn't it? Oh, da, 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 da. Who's it's the best bad. dancer in your dressing room, Andros? Oh, that's a good question. That is a very good question. What Alex Awobi. Really? Alex Awobi yeah, is having that, himself, actually. yeah. What about, like... Is Richarlison good? I'm just thinking Brazilian. They like their dancing. No, I've not really, I've not really seen him move. To be honest, <laughs> really? uh, Yeri Mina, Yeri Mina, Yeah, he's good, is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very good. He can move. What is? Um, he's got the, the South American hips. Yeah. What is Richarlison like day to day? Because he always seems a bit like moody, doesn't he? <laughs> is he like that? Yeah, I think. Things? Yeah, he comes across that way, but he's he's a funny guy. He doesn't speak much English, but when he does open his mouth, like everyone's just in hysterics. He's, he's a funny, funny guy. Is he really? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to ask you another question, of course, because Richarlison's been linked with Spurs. I know that I'm not asking oh, you go. necessarily to give him, out, give him any, not selling me his out. It's his give teammate. Us any information, <laughs> unless you know any. Um, but how big a move would that be for Richarlison if he was to go to Spurs? Um, I think Everton's one of the biggest clubs in England, the most historic clubs. Um, the biggest fan base. I think you're being slightly disrespectful by um, calling Spurs a step up. Come on, Andros, get off the fence, mate. We know you play forever, but yeah, let, come on. We're all going to Tottenham. He wants to get out of there. Stop. Does he? I mean, he could become a hero there, couldn't he? Kind of already did last season. He's already a hero yeah. um, already for what he's done. Um, he's a fantastic player. Towards the end of the season, the goals he scored to keep us up again, we spoke about the fans, but he came back from injury, scored goals, kept us up. So he's already got hero status. There we go. All mm. right, I'm not going to push you anymore. Because <laughs> very that's all you're getting from politically me. Politically yeah. correct answer there, Andros. Yeah. <laughs> you did the right thing, Andros, and we want you to come on again. So, you know, I'm not going to push you anymore. I'm further. used to it. I've had, I've had years of Wilfred Zaha questions, so I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.